Hey guys, welcome back to Loose Vintage RC. So on this channel, we like to restore vintage RC cars, trucks, boats. We also do some custom builds around the hall in this season and new builds as well as a vintage tie-in. This is going to be a pretty special um, project we're going to be doing. It's going to be a two-part series because um, there's three cars to do. I was going to try to do it all in one, but I think it's going to be a little too too long. So, let me show you what we got. We're going to be restoring a class, a vintage 84 Team Associate RC10 on the channel. I've restored one of these, but I believe it was the B, um, it was a, a, a class B or a B chassis uh, early, early in the years, and I haven't done one in a while, so I figured let's do it another one, and uh, we'll uh, get into this in just a second. And we also have the CC. Um, this one here came out a little while ago. But uh, it's still an amazing kit, and I'm super excited to get in uh, in this one. This one's more of a shower, not necessarily a goer. Uh, but people have been running these a little bit, but they're pretty fragile, so I think it's mostly going to be a display piece. I will run it once, and then it's going to go on the shelf. So that's the second one. And we do have the newest one to come in to, on the channel, and that is going to be this guy. So let's go ahead and open this one up real quick. Okay. Now I ordered this straight from Team Associated and uh, I was lucky enough to get one of these. Um, yeah, super stoked. Uh, years ago I had a, um, a, uh, another box one, but that was before the video came, uh, before my series, my vintage RC car series. I was able to get one of these um, a while back and open it and build it, and then I had to sell it off. So it's super super happy to get another chance to get this one. And this one, I'm not I'm not I'm not getting rid of this one or any of these. Uh, so super stoked to get this on the channel. Uh, kind of curious on what my number is on the frame as well. Uh, these have etchings and stuff like that on them, so it's going to be pretty cool. And I'm super pumped up for this. So uh, yeah. Uh, so we got a couple of these to do, or three of these to do. Let's go ahead and open up this guy and show you what I have to work with really quickly. So this one's kind of built already, uh, but we're going to take everything apart. And um, I'm really stoked about this one. So I'll show you what we got right here. And tires. So I got this probably about three years ago, and I'm able to get to it now. This one does give us a manual. So it's gonna be a lot to do, but I, I figured I'm gonna do something special on the channel with these. I figured I would just build them all uh, and then show them. Uh, the box is quite a beater upper box, but this is uh, a super rare one. Uh, this gave you a complete kit with ball bearings minus the radio. And back back then, this was $290. This is the uh, 6016 uh, box. So I'm lucky to get a box. I have another box, but it's uh, kind of in a worse shape than that one. So that's pretty much that one. We're going to take this guy apart. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. Pretty much it's all there. I'm going to have to strip the rest of the chrome off this wheel and turn them back white because behind this wheel is just white nylon. So, yeah. It sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty healthy. So I think it'll be a good runner. It's got some scratches on it, but nothing too crazy. It's just, it'll be fine. I got a body for it from Penguin right here. I got the driver. So that's going to be a lot of a lot of fun. So we'll have that one to do, and put this back in the box. <clears throat> Don't want to lose no parts. Wings. Put the body right there. So we got a lot of goodies for this one. 
of the manual in there. So that's that guy. Now let's go ahead and open the CC real quick. Now we're not going to be building anything in this video. This is just a part one kind of unveiling. You've probably seen all this stuff already on the, on some of the other YouTubers. But I figured I would go ahead and at least get it opened up. Alrighty, here we go. And we'll see how bad the body is. I think that this is a second batch anyways. Got our wheels and tires. Um, clear parts. They're quite fragile. Another driver. More uh, battery parts and stuff. Um, gearing. A arms or rear arms, bulkhead. I know I'm going through this pretty quickly. I didn't want to make this video too long. I know a lot of guys have already seen this stuff, uh, but I just wanted to open it up for myself basically and show you everything uh, too. So a lot of the stuff we're gonna have to pre-drill again because I don't want to crack any of the clear parts. I'm just gonna go paint the body a um, kind of like a sparkly clear. And they did put the body um, or the, the frame upside down. A lot of people were complaining that the, uh, there were scratches on these. This one's all bagged up. And there's not there's nothing wrong with this one. It's pretty good. Yeah, so I was lucky that, in a way, to get the second batch. Uh, sorry to those who have scratch shells. Uh, and then they put the bot this upside down, which is good. It looks good raw aluminum and then we got our manual and our decals and yeah and a, the tie and stuff like that so we're going to be putting um just basic servos in these and uh just wing them a little bit oh, i'm going to put this stuff back in so let's put this back in here we'll get into the next one I don't want to scratch the body, so let's get that right there. Last. So, super pumped up with this stuff, guys. All right, there's part two, and then the 40th. And here we go. Let's see what this is. All right. It's got the nice feel here. This is also going to be a stand for the car that you, if you want to use it as a stand. So let's go. Got our gold shocks. Got our wheels and tires and our lights in here. A lot of people are saying that the the, the uh, nylon parts are too white. I think they look pretty good. Uh, I don't think they're, they're they got a nice creamy color to them, but uh, they might be a little brighter than typical, but not much. Um, the only thing I will we'll say something about is just one second. So there's everything else. Let's kind of take that out. Apologize if I'm going through this kind of quick. I just really want to get to building this thing. Now the manual you don't get. Uh, you get a digital manual. So, all right. There's the box. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Put that over here. Let's look at the frame. Now this is my only thing about this here. Let me show you this one. Um, it is kind of a, uh, maybe over anodized gold, a, a little bit, but feels great. There's no little, it kind of rounded everything off nicely. It might be a little sharp right back here. Get the embossed 40 on the back right here. Uh, there's my number uh, on a, a hologram sticker, uh, 3795. So I don't got a super low number by no means, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's okay. Um, yeah, feels good. 
That's that. Let's just look at the body real quick, make sure the body is pretty nice, like the other ones. Yeah, nothing wrong with this shell. Looks pretty good. So, super stuffed on that. Just really want to get to building this thing, guys. <laughs> just pumped up, pumped up, pumped up. So, let's put this stuff back in here. Yeah, well, not the body, though. Gonna stick the body here, and I'll go through a couple other things real quick. Pop all these pieces back in. Now, in the build, you'll see all this stuff opened up. I'll be able to uh, show you guys everything in the video. Uh, but it's just, you know, time, 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 time. Uh, let's keep all that together. Gotta download that, put this right on top, mess that up. And I'll show you the decal, if I'm going to see the decal book right here. Pretty big deal. Uh, I'll move that here. Moving along, I'm, just, I'm knocking them out. Let's see what you get in here real quick. Let's see. There we go, we got our, um, our window masking. Got a card. Um, yeah, it talks about 1984 All American Design. Team Associate Arts Tim was introduced to the world, being the first to take home the gold both in the war and the IFMAR two wheel drive championship. Um, it uh, secured its place in uh, RC legendary uh, uh, form, as it would be. So, my whole opinion on the RC 10 is it really was the car to change RCs. Forever. It really is super important RC car, probably one of the most important RCs in history. Very much for watching please hit the like and would love it for you subscribe it would mean the world to me I promise you're not gonna want to miss the next episode when all three get built and driven 
probably the only time you're ever going to see something like that in all of YouTube. It's going to be pretty spectacular. And sometimes Luke's Vintage RC does those kinds of things on the channel. That's why I always urge you guys to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know why. We do some fantastic stuff on this channel. Rare stuff and uh, just all around fun stuff. With that being said, thank you so very much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.